<laughs> you described this as the weirdest Christmas variety show that there could possibly be. Sorry, I can't <laughs> believe you. That's been allowed out. Yeah, um, yeah it is what? quite weird. I mean, that was the stuff that you can put out on a trailer. <laughs> There's <laughs> even more stuff on the actual show. Um, but it's yeah. not really weird, though. It's, fu it's funny. It is funny. Well, those boys were sweet. Those Queer American Eye, yeah. I took boys. him on Queer Eye, which is something I've wanted to do for so long. Yeah. So you had Jonathan, Anthony and Tan. Yeah. And, uh, and you're a fan anyway. Yeah, yeah, I love Queer Eye. It's such a great show. So and I thought they'd be perfect to, you know, have this man as their hero. And the how... Week. how uh, did you know who they were? No. no did I you didn't. know anything about the show? No, I mean, there was a slight clue in the title, but, I mean... Apart from that, I had no idea well, who they were. There was a clue in the title, yet still, when he first met Anthony, he was like, oh, what a lovely man. It's a very handsome show. He must do very well with the ladies. I was like, <laughs> I, that's not really how the show works. But. So what did, you, what did you learn? Because obviously one of them is teaching you how to, to cook there. Did you learn anything? Did you pick up any tips? No, not really. It's a bit late for me for learning how to right. cook. I mean, I have a wife who is the most wonderful cook. I have my son, Jack, who is a wonderful cook. I have Barney and Molly who also cook, so I've we, never, I've never attended. Who are your family, not your staff? <laughs> <laughs> Just to remind you of that. He has a bell at Christmas. <laughs> that he rings when he wants the food brought through. He just sits so there and we all just like scuttle round, like waiting on him hand and well, foot, well, and then well, the bell rings. Hillary! And then you have to run in with the turkey. <laughs> what is that noise? Hillary, that's you shouting to my mother. Um, this is all vicious lies. Okay. <laughs> did the, uh, did the, the, the guys uh, uh, alter your fashion? You're looking particularly fashionable today in a, in a large check. I mean, that's in red socks, looking good. Is that a Queer Eye thing? No, Queer Eye, the guy... Tan was trying to get me into something quite different, sort of rather young, I would say, for me. Slightly kind of macho, young wear, with a sort of cap and all that. It definitely wasn't my, my line of Not your cup of tea. I mean, whilst recording the show, um, some members of the audience, I mean, maybe what you were wearing that night, I don't know, but they got quite overexcited. Just explain. You what thought happened. it was a fight. I thought it was a fight. There was, so there was. Weird. It was so weird filming the show at the London Palladium, and th there was a kind of like ruckus up in the in the gods, and I thought it was a fight. And so then it just carried on with the show. I was like, I'll just ignore it because it's better not to draw attention to it. Then afterwards, the security came up to me and said, you, "You'll never guess what that was." And I went, "What?" And they went, "It was a couple that were making out, like in the stalls, full on like, making out, full on making out, like." OK, I nearly did a hand gesture, but you can't do that on... Break. I know that <laughs> yeah, you can't do that on daytime by that. television. But you can fill in the blanks. And they, twice, because then they left and went to the toilet and they got thrown out of there as oh well. Oh, my gosh. And apparently there were a couple that do it in theatres around the West End. Oh, that's their get thing, their, isn't Yeah, it? they get their rocks off on. And obviously... It's quite I, we, expensive, isn't it? It's very expensive. <laughs> Maybe they pick a different show each week. <laughs> and then they go and they do that. And, I, like, you know, I've done hundreds and hundreds of shows and gigs. I've never experienced it's that. something like that. And really? also we had a guest list of all family friends, so you're kind of worried about who it might... Be. I think you and Dan were... I, invited to the show. You were invited to the show. So in my head, it's like... Wait, you, said, you said you left the show early the other day. <laughs> <laughs> not guilty, no, not me. Just what did you think a lot of friends were there. Well, somebody told me afterwards that they, these people started doing it when I came on and did well, something. Well, I don't... Which I didn't... Uh, do you think that is no, possible? I well, I wonder whether <laughs> it might like have been an older couple. Would that couple. be possible? <laughs> you don't think it might have been an elderly couple? What, the, the big fans of yours? Yes. And, you, and, that's and they the... suddenly thought this you might be the that. moment <laughs> to reacquaint themselves <laughs> with a little bit of activity. <laughs> In the what they did miss, however, was the big musical number at the end. So you wanted to sort of have a big song yeah. and dance at the end. I mean, you as as a kid, was he a bit? Of, did he sing? Did he sing at school? Or? No, I mean, his singing at the school was so bad. He was in the choir, and he had to be taken out of the choir because the whole choir went out of tune, oh. and it was all because of his singing. Yeah. When they took him out. They all went back into tune again. But I wanted to be a musical star. <laughs> yeah, his dream to be a musical star. Um, there was a very seminal performance Phil? of Joseph um, as there a you child, go. and there, there was you go. oh, there was a great man who, with a wonderful voice, and I thought that would be the dream one day. Were you watching Jason Donovan? Emulate you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but I, yeah, so th we did this musical inspired like nativity ending to the show, um, which actually we ended up getting to Tim Rice and Lord Lloyd Webber. Wow, to kind of you can't just throw that away. That I know, they're in the show. How did Madly, it feel? What was yeah. it like? 
it was amazing. I mean, like, they're heavily auto-tuned, I would say. Um, and uh, but a, but a great moment and a slightly kind of baffling end to the show for everyone else. But at least I got to live out my dreams. It's um, um well, it's obviously fabulous the relationship between the two of you um, and uh, and all started on travels with my uh, with my father. Um, for for something like that, I mean, you do appear terribly grumpy, but I suspect you're probably not that grumpy. I'd say <laughs> you all. No. You always say there's no exaggeration. He is exactly like that. Well, it's not true. Mm -hmm. A sweet young man came up to me the day before yesterday for a selfie, and I had a little chat with him. And then, as he walked off, he turned around and he said, "Oh." Mr. Whitehall, could I just say one thing? And I said, yes. And he said, you're definitely much nicer than you are on television. Ah, oh, oh, that's nice. nice. You see, it I'd was say, all an I'd act. I'd say 70% of the time, you're that nice, sweet man. And then 30% of the time, you're the travels with my father, Michael Whitehall. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's how. But it's, it must be nice to have this like time together because not many people work with their parents and yeah. get to spend that amount of time. I mean, it's quite a special relationship, really. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, it and is. It's, um, yeah, like the fact that we get to go and travel around yeah. the world and basically yeah. go on holiday together it's every nice. year is, 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 nice. it is really nice. And, and then uh, add to the family with, uh, with Winston. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, having involved. Winston as part of the family has been so one of my... A, a late child for me <laughs> and a very, very exciting... Explain Winston. Possibly favourite child? Winston, <laughs> well... <laughs> At least Winston keeps his remarks to himself most of the time, <laughs> unlike some people. Mm. So, um, so he, you, put, you we bought this sort of dog. Bought him in uh, Thailand, didn't Thailand. we? Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, uh, they're these weird Thai, Thai dolls. They're called look tep dolls, mm. and they're meant to bring you good luck on your travels. And, uh, I mean... And the woman was selling a huge quantity, she had 50 or 60 for sale. They all looked slightly like Michael McIntyre, so we didn't... <laughs> We didn't go for there, so we went for this slightly different look. Yeah, and and we got. Winston. And he did. Winston come with you when you turned on the Christmas lights in Putney. The other he day? did. Yeah, yeah. Turned on and the Mrs. Christmas. Whitehall held him. And yeah, everything. I wasn't there. <laughs> I literally. Yeah. You've used me. It was me. the Whitehall you've, family. You've clambered yeah. over me. Yeah, and now you're turning on Christmas lights. Yeah. <laughs> he did a medical questionnaire the other day, and in occupation, he put national treasure. <laughs> It's Quite gone to his head. He's out of control. <laughs> well, you can I turn reckon on the... within a year. Go on. Jungle. Oh my gosh, you'd be would amazing. Have, yes, get would you do it? it? You no should do the jungle. You oh, you'd be no. brilliant. Not Everyone would love you on I'm a Celebrity. Not in a million, million no. years. Oh, I, I think, think that's going to happen. Great. What would be the problem? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you want to go? Oh, you'd why love kangaroo I want to do it. I mean, just look at me. Do I look like I want to go in the jungle? No, maybe you could be uh, involved in one of the Bush Tucker trials. Like uh, someone, they put you in, uh, uh, put a celebrity in a coffin with you and you're there <laughs> to scare them. <laughs> That's no. what I have to put out. <laughs> I really, I want to see that But happen. I do love you, it. Um, you are on tour, aren't you, at the moment? Yes. And so that's still good. Yes, I am. <laughs> <Yeah>. Normally, this <laughs> would be for a long yeah, time. Yeah, no, I am. I'm going to Leeds tonight to are do a show really? in Leeds. That's mad. When do you finish? <laughs> um, I finish. I've just extended it into the to the new year. Yeah. So I'm doing some dates in January, and I'm going to finish at the Wembley Arena. And how does oh, that nice. two shows? That's yeah. a big one. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Like Wembley. I mean, to perform on stage at Wembley is a dream, and it's amazing. And I. You know, I love being on tour and I love that connection with the audience mm. and uh, the shows have been going so well. Um, and there's also been the odd show where um, someone maybe makes a little cameo appearance. So mm. we're trying to, you know, sprinkle mm. those throughout the run as well to give people an extra Well, it's your mother. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going somewhere else at the end of that tour, aren't you? Australia. Yeah. yeah. Well, you just were, were you? Grounds yeah. for is, is that for the touring or just uh, that, uh, preparation that holiday? For the preparation for the jungle. Wow, Find them a nice good. hotel, <laughs> make and sure we, we uh, get some good flights. We've got 15 Christmas trees in here, uh, yeah. and we, we were hearing just before we, we came back out of the break, you were t telling us about what you do at, uh, at Christmas. Uh, uh, it's brief. The Christmas tree the Christmas in your house. Yeah. Well, I like the tree up on Christmas Eve because it makes a bit an impact. And then Boxing Day, I like to get rid of it, except that the dump is never open on Boxing Day, so uh. I have to take it the day after. And the children, we have to do all the work because oh. he struggles to get it up. 
So, um, uh, we, what? No, I'm... that's not the kind of joke you can put at this time. <laughs> it of the was day. not a joke. I was simply saying that you struggled to get it up. So, as children, we have to help put up the tree. Holly, please. I wrote... This is a daytime show. <laughs> well, it's precisely. Christmas. This is, We've just been this is a clue learning about your game. If you go to Leeds tonight. <laughs> um, it's so lovely to see you, as we Safe travels to Leeds tonight. Christmas with my father is what we're talking about. Netflix on the 12th of December. Thank you and happy Christmas. Thank you.